Hi guys, PJ here, taking a look at the newly released, or re-released you could say, Black Mirror. Now this game originally uh, released well, way back in 2004. This is a, a reboot of it, of it. It's like a click and point adventure game. I actually remember it in, back in that day and it was pretty good. Storyline was pretty good. Um, this is a THQ Nordic game. It's actually available on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. So we're testing the PC version here. I'm going to quick look at that. The Xbox and PlayStation version retail for around £35. The £35 on the stores. I've had a quick look there. And the PC version is £22.49 on Steam and is available for £12.99 on places like CD Keys and other key resellers, etc. So you can get it pretty cheap. The Steam reviews are very, very good. So it's a lot of promise. Uh, seems to have very good graphics. It's an 11 gigabyte download for all you guys that are worried about your bandwidth and everything. So it's not massive. And the minimum spec seems to be a 2 gigabyte uh, graphics card, such as a GTX 660. And it will run on like really old CPUs, like old Phenom 4s and stuff like that. Recommended spec um, GTX 960 or an R9 290, uh, i7 or an FX 8350. So. Even the recommended, you know, it's not a, a very taxing game as such, but the artwork in it, it is looking good. This is my first load up of the game. Uh, so as you can see, their continue is greyed out and so is load. I've not actually gone into the game yet. The game is set in 1926 Scotland. And the, the chap, the character that you're actually playing, um, he's revisiting the family home. He's inherited the family home. And he's gone back to basically find out what's going on the the family home is uh i don't know if it's haunted or got something devious in the cellar but it's that type of storyline so he goes back and obviously encounters all sorts of mysterious weird goings on and uh, you have to sort of go through it and unravel all that uh, sort of thing so if we get straight into some of the bits and bobs the game has to offer i just jump into this bit for you PC players. Um, on the settings menu here, you'll notice I'm running it on an ultra-wide display and it's only coming up at 16x9. It's got black borders each side. So we'll have a quick look, see if there's anything in there to adjust. Let's have a quick look what we got. Uh, oh, resolution. You can't click up and down by the look of it. It's just, just click to change the res. So can we go? How, what can we do here? There's a lot of reses. So 644.80 is your lowest. We've got 720p there, I saw that. 900p. 1920p1080. Ah, okay. So we're not looking good for ultra wide on this particular game. That is a shame. I'm sure we could do, uh, you know, some sort of user generated patch will turn up to expand it out and fill the screen up at some point or another. What else have we got then? Uh, vibration if you're using a controller on and off there. Obviously an Xbox controller I would imagine. Shadows. High, medium, low. Terrain. High, medium, low. Reflections on and off. It's bare bones. But to be fair I get the feeling that this the art direction of this game is going to shine through rather than having all singing or dancing graphical effects. So uh, okay let's go into a new game and uh, see what happens. Okay, so we've gone into game. Uh, who are we playing here? What's this? What's this guy then? Okay, oh, we can actually move rather than click and point like the original. Animations look a bit janky, don't they? But uh, you know, like I say, it does the original dates back a bit. Ooh, this is janky. Uh, just a quick one for you PC guys. Uh, there you go. There's a display showing you the usage. Uh, not very taxing at all on this maximum. If you can call it maximum setting, it's two and a half gigabytes of VRAM. Nothing taxing at all. Just turn that off again. Okay, so let's have a look. We have a mouse point, so I should be able to look at certain things. It, it feels a bit janky to play. I'm using keyboard and mouse here. Let me try it on controller, because it does support controller rumble and everything, doesn't it? Okay, he says. No. Okay, maybe we have to activate controller in the options. Settings. Or perhaps not. Okay. 
we'll go back to using uh, keyboard for now. Obviously, controller does work, but it, I guess you got to configure it before you start the game. Okay, so this is Dank Dark, lovely Scotland, known for its scenic views and smeggy fog, by the look of things. At this point, of course, we're all terrified, clearly. Because this guy striking me as a little bit insane or something, I don't know. Interact. So we've got our first click and point there. And what's this? What's he got here? What is that? Voodoo doll? Some sort of charm? Trinklet? Ooh, nice. I don't think he got that from a Scottish gift shop somehow. Okay. I'm starting to think the character you play is nuts at this particular point. He's certainly hearing things in his head, isn't he? Unless he's possessed. Maybe he's possessed. Okay. So, let's go up here. Those animations are quite comical, actually. <laughs> his running's like... He's like Laurel and Hardy. Okay. The question is, guys, do we find the Loch Ness Monster? Because that's what I'm playing for, really, isn't it? Nah, perhaps not. Okay, so let's go up here and have a look. Oh, we got a ghost. Where's the gun? Need to shoot the gun. Touch. Okay. Go back. Oh, this is janky. Hang on. Got to get in the right position to be able to do this. Come on. Work. Oh, God, this is really irritating. Click. Oh my, no, this 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 is going to annoy me, like, quickly. You can't walk off the path, you're stuck on the, on the, on the little path. But you, oh, she's going. Let me run back down the hill, so she'll come back. Oh, shit, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come here, you. No! Click! Oh my, can we press number one? No, that's F1. Yes, press number one. You don't have to click the circle then. Not quite the same effect as the librarian from the Ghostbusters original movie. But yes, I'm sure that was immensely scary to someone out there. Okay. If you've not seen the original Ghostbusters movie, of course, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about there. But still. Okay, so pressing shift actually slows your character to walk. Normally pressing shift is run. Strange decision there, THQ Nordic. Hey, what we got here? A mini Stonehenge. Okay, so... Quick one. Oh, too slow. I press one too slow. One, quick. There we go. I think... If you're into this type of game, I, c I can definitely see the appeal. Wanting to know the, you know, the story behind it all and everything. I don't think it's my type of game, however. The jankiness on this PC version is not helping. Maybe the console versions are a bit smoother using the controller and they'll have button prompts instead of having to press number one or hit the circle with your mouse. I don't know. See, there's a circle there on the block, but clicking it, click, 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 nothing. Oh, there we go. Look, quick, examine. Take. Did he really just eat the note paper? Oh, he's definitely got a screw loose. I'm guessing then this isn't the main character and you don't play him. This is the guy's dad because obviously you've inherited the house, so this must be his father or other relation. Right. That's quite a wacky intro. That's odd. I'm not going to play too much of this, because obviously spoilers in the game. Um, I think you get a gist for it. I'm hoping the console versions, or if you're using a controller on PC, um, it's smoother and easier. Because, like I say, the jankiness is definitely shining through on the game. 
it's clearly the story side of it that's going to shine shall we say um whether or not it's worth 35 pound on the xbox or playstation store that's for you to decide i personally it was with great joy wouldn't pay that for it in all honesty it's not my cup of tea this isn't it okay so we now got a cool looking car can't control the car it's a cutscene can we skip oops no we can't skip okay no, there is no way of skipping this at all. Can we go control and take over? No. Okay, let's cut to some uh, some gameplay. Eh? Okay, we're still in the car, but we have an examine icon come up, so let's do that. It can't be the book we've just put down, can it? Oh no, it's the piece of paper. Okay, that's different. Are we there yet? What's this one over here? There's no back seat. You can't have some kids in the back going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? That's no good. There's no comedy in this. It's not really a comedy uh, game though, is it? Let's face it. Oh, this is really annoying. Come on, examine. What's in the box? What is that? No, we can't spin it round. Oh, God, I was hoping to spin that round. How do we activate it? We can't actually do anything with this thing. It's... Looks like... Part of a castle turret of some sort. Oh, wait, yep, yeah, we had an examine come up then. It's gone again now, though. Right. Can't skip. There we are. So you can examine it, but he only talks about it rather than looks at it. Okay, let's go back. Right. We have arrived. Oh, we've arrived. Okay, let's have a quick look at the house, guys, and then I'll wrap it up so I don't spoil too much of the game for you. Let's see this Dracula-inspired mansion then that we're visiting. Hey, it's night time all of a sudden. Cool. Oh, very, very atmospheric, yes. It's your stately home. Very stately. Very nice. Black Mirror. Okay, now tell me another cutscene. Any loading icon or anything anywhere? No, nothing. Nothing to tell you what's what's going on. No. Here we go. Nice cutscene. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, yeah. I expected you. Car driver's there. nice or butler. Uh, Very thank friendly. You. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. Nice sunset. Nice place for a holiday. And black screen. Cool. You need like a little ticky timer telling you it's doing something. Because on PC, let's face it, you never know if it's crashed. Come on. Maybe I should have installed this on an SSD. Ah, that's quite nice. It's atmospheric. It seems weird having a, a, a pointer as well as walking controls. That's, that's a sort of slightly different approach. Normally I'd sort of one or the other. Ooh, she looks an old battle axe, doesn't she? Welcome to Skahandu House. Don't trust her straight away. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. Right, so it was his father's death then that we witnessed earlier. And at that, I'll wrap it up, guys. You can clearly see what the game's about and how it sort of works, whether or not you go and buy it. 
obviously is uh, up to you if you're into this type of game. Personally, I'm going to say wait for a sale. You know, uh, as interesting as the story may well end up being, whether it's supernatural or something else, I just feel the jankiness, especially on the PC version, nah, it would spoil it for me, to be fair. But, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.